So now we're going to get our machine rolling. So the first thing we have to do is we have to mix the lye. And what we need to do that is a mason jar. Make sure it's glass. You can't put the lye in plastic because it'll melt. So make sure it's glass. Get a nice mason jar. Stainless steel knife or a stirrer, something that you know your fingers won't go down into the solution. And a tablespoon measuring spoon, okay? Then you're gonna need your goggles because we wanna be safe and always have protection because there's splashes. And our gloves, crucial, always put on our gloves. Now, what we do is we take distilled water. You can buy the distilled water in the store or you can have a maker. It has to be distilled water and you're gonna measure out three cups, which is about this high. We got our water, we got our light, we got our measuring spoon, we got our stir, we got our gloves, and we got our goggles and we're good to go. Let's go out the dough. All right, getting ready to mix our lye powder. Now, safety first, glass, always glass. We have our distilled, always distilled water inside. Put our goggles on first, then our gloves, just in case there's a little splash, right? Now we're going to uncap it, and there's a little seal here, which we want to take off, and we're gonna measure out six. Now, as we measure them out, you don't want to put them all in at once. We're going to do one slowly and stir till that's dissolved, and then go to the next one. We got one, and slowly we're going to put it in and start stirring until all that's dissolved so you see no crystals at the bottom. Now, as this goes in, this is going to heat up. We're going to take this top, we're not going to seal it, but we want it on top in case of debris coming in, dirt, right? We'll cap this up, put our seal in again. Again, keep your gloves on because you don't want any of the lye to hit you. And now you're going to let that cool for one to two hours, as long as it's to the touch. But that's pretty hot, so you wouldn't want to pick this up now. So let it cool, let it stay outside and cool and we'll go inside and put our machine together while this is cooling. Now that our electrolyte solution is cooling, we are gonna give our machine a hot water rinse. This is so that if there's anything in it, it needs lubrication, and get any little um, particles that may have come loose in shipping. So I'm gonna run this water so it's nice and hot. All right, so I'm going to fill this. Put my cap on, and again, go slow. When you clean the machine, you know, just rotate it. Okay. And you're just going to let it really come out. And you'll see some sediment coming out of it. That's good because you're cleaning it. So I do this three times at least. But wait till all the water is out. Then we're going to put this back. I want to turn it on now on my third rinse. I want to have it on, right? because now I'm gonna watch that it's cleaning that, that that little thing is going up, right? So again, hot water, get it real hot. Fill this up. I'm gonna pour it in. And you get to actually see where it's going. So this is my third rinse. Tilt it, because I really wanna get it clean. And then just lean it or hold it till it all comes out. Okay, then we're going to put it back on here. Right, we'll wipe her down. 
Okay, so we're ready to bring our lye solution back inside. So I'm putting my goggles back on. And my gloves just for safety measure. Our lye is cool. And I'm just gonna tighten this, you know, and bring it back inside. So I'm gonna keep my gloves and my goggles on. Put our funnel on. And again, careful because it is lye, right? And very slowly, I'm gonna take the rag, right? And I'm gonna slowly pour this in. Now, you've got your lye back in. Your meter's on here, right? So now we're gonna put on the tower cap on. Now what we're going to do is install this tower cap onto the AquaCure. And to do that, the first thing you have to do is put Teflon tape on the water fill stem of the AquaCure. And what I do is I wrap it around the top few threads. You just need to have it on the top few threads. You wrap it around in a clockwise fashion, similar to this. And if it's really thin Teflon tape, then you probably need about 12 or 15 wraps, which I already had some tape on there, so I'm just gonna cut that off. And another uh, thing that we did is we put a union on the bottom of these uh, more recent tower caps, which allows the, uh, the small piece, don't lose the little O-ring, allows the small piece to be on here and you can put that on and tighten it down as tight as you like, but just by hand. And then there's those people that really want to wrench it on there. And in that case, you'd use a what's called a channel lock uh, plumber's pliers, something like that. But this will seal quite nicely if you just have done the Teflon tape. If, if these threads are cutting into your hand, you can use a glove or something to get it on there nice and tight. Now that it's on there nice and tight, we can use the O-ring, make sure that it's in the groove, and just kind of set the ring down, tighten the ring, you're good to go. That's, that's all that's necessary. And because of this uh, ring, you can now take the tower cap off anytime you want and do the filling and, and uh, maintenance rinses and what have you. It makes it very simple and easy and you can turn the tower cap any direction you want. And you only have to tighten this a little bit down here because that O-ring seals really, really well. We're gonna take our holder, which our humidifier goes in. And I think it's best on this side because if you see, there's actually a bigger screw there. So we're gonna Take our screw, and right here you'll see is this here hole. Put that in there. Put it back in. Now a little bit of the metal is coming up, but that's normal. And then you're gonna screw that back in. Give it a nice tight, right? And this is where your humidifier fits right in there. Now, we've got two hoses here that we're gonna deal with. Okay, one is a smaller hose, SO676. It's a short little hose, right? Now, one side has threads, and the other, you're just gonna seal. So you find where are the threads on this, and if you look at the top here, this has little threads. So that's where this hose is gonna go. And again, get that secure. Make sure you're going straight so you're not stripping it, okay. This is plain, now you're gonna put this on the tower cap. You wanna put it on, you could be firm. You know, just make sure that it's, you know, on it. Give it a little twist, and then it's just not coming off, that's all. But just don't push it or don't, don't pull it like that. When you're gonna take it off, same thing. Take it nice and gentle. Now, we have another hose here. 
and you're going to attach it to the top. Now you're going to attach it to where this hose comes down, right? And again, be gentle because if you break any of these plastic things. So, you know, just make it so that it's firm, you know? And then here, you're going to take this. So here you put it in this little skinny one here. So it's tight. Now we're going to put water, distilled water again, into our water jug and our humidifier. As you can see, this says fill to line, right? So that's what we're going to do. Right? Then you're going to twist it back on, put it back in here, and then the same with your water jug. You're going to fill it to the line, and here it says it again. There's a little black line here. Don't cheat and go down here, right? Right here's the line. Don't go over because this bubbles and then you'll get spills and you don't want spills, right? Again, you're going to hold this and you twist it underneath, right? Because if you twist that, they're all going to come off. So get that snug. And that's what you do with the water. Everything's filled and we're ready for the next step.